Hi guys, and welcome to The Horror Room, your number one source for the true horror fans. I'm your host, and today we're going to be talking about that sort of flair that you got to give off to let everyone know that you're into the crazy shit that most people think is dark or spooky. That's right, talk about shirts. Now, you don't want to be an asshole like I am and just draw a pumpkin and write the word boo on your shirt so you don't look like an idiot. Um, so you need to step your game up. Start wearing some cool stuff to let people know who's your favorite killer, what you're into, what type of movies you like. Um, now you could just go online and search for a generic shirt, you know, you could make your own. Sometimes those don't work out too well. But I'm going to just show you what I got in my personal collection, give you some recommendations, get you started on the right path so people will go, hey, I like that movie too. And then you'll never want to wear that shirt again. Now, there's one shirt that I was trying to find, and apparently it got rid of it. Must be because I'm getting fat. Um, <laughs> I had a shirt, it was probably my oldest shirt that I ordered from Hot Topic of all places. Um, and it was a zombie shirt, uh, it said, we are gonna eat you, the, the dead return, or something like that, and it had a picture of the main zombie from Zombie. I remember I cut the sleeves off it at one point, and I was using it as, like, a fucking muscle shirt. I don't know where I put it. I'm actually pretty pissed about it, because I was looking for it, and I was like, where the shit is my shirt? Couldn't find it. So, rip zombie shirt. Sorry about that. Uh, first off, we have a shirt that I bought while I was working at Spirit Halloween for a couple years. Um, I just thought it was neat. It used to glow in the dark. Used to glow in the dark. Uh, now it's just looks like a bunch of Jack Skellington faces. I mean, it's it's not, but it kind of looks like it. Then we have this one that uh, <laughs> I got as a birthday gift one year. Now, let me just say, I think they got this from a Walmart or somewhere. Usually, those shirts are pretty shit. They just throw a generic thing in there or some sort of bad pun involving, I got your back, and it's a picture of a skeleton holding another skeleton's spine. Like, I'm here for the booze, and it's a ghost. <laughs> no, that's horrible. Um, you should feel ashamed. Uh, but this one, with the, all the clowns from Killer Clowns from Outer Space, I think this shirt is freaking amazing. Um, yeah, it's freaking awesome. And I, I still wear this from time to time. Um, then, of course, I'm sure you've seen some of these shirts. Some. <laughs> In some of my other videos, but this says, uh, this awesome Jason with the hatchet shirt. Um, I cut the sleeves off. It's got some bleach stains. But I'll never get rid of this bad boy. This is, if, if anything, if this starts to get holes in it, I will hang it up like a jersey and display it proudly. Um, so that's probably my favorite Jason Voorhees shirt I own. This one would have been. Had it not shrunk, I got it on a website that was promoting it as a limited time. Now, watch out for some of those offers because sometimes they'll say, It's limited time, we're only going to run this. And then two months later, you see that shirt again, and you're like, Oh, thank you. I paid so much more just to get it exclusive. Um, this wasn't the case with this. I think, I'm pretty sure I've not seen it around anywhere else. It's just the problem is I should have gotten a bigger size because I don't wear it a lot anymore. It's, it's kind of tight now. But the mask is made up of every weapon he's used to kill people. So that's pretty freaking awesome. So pretty unique. I like that. Then you have this, uh, you wouldn't know it's a horror shirt just by looking at the front. So you see Freddy kind of s s on the side there just chilling. Um, and then you look at the back and it's just the logo. Kind of a lazy design if you ask me. But I mean, it's whatever. Um, then of course we were talking about Walmart shirts, um, obviously this pumpkin shirt isn't going to cut it, so I grabbed this one, you know, it's like it's, it's kind of classic, it's kind of, it's kind of spooky, um, no Halloween John Carpenter's pumpkin though, ooh, those are the best, um, but I just thought, I was like, eh, something simple, so, occasionally it's okay to get a Walmart shirt, um, this is probably one of my favorite generic shirts. I got this also when I was working at Spencer's. Oh, yeah, look at that. Like, double-side skull, black and white. 
The only thing I do hate is it's just blank on the background. Like, they really could have wrapped that design around. That would have been really cool. But, eh, you gotta save money so you can sell your $20 t-shirt. Um, now I'm not gonna dive into this because I've got a whole collection of these two. Or at least I used to have a ton. But this one does have a horror element to it. And this is a horror core shirt. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Um, this is for Scum. And it's got the, uh, like, Jason Voorhees type thing going on. Which has got the mask and there's blood and hooks. So, the thing is really freaking awesome looking. Um, it's a tall tee, so it's great to use as pajamas. Um, then you have this shirt, which I got from The Exchange, which is mainly a game store, but they, for some reason, decided, hey, let's carry horror shirts. It's not the worst printed shirt, but, I mean, it's it's pretty quality. It's pretty decent. So I was like, I'll get the classic Halloween logo. Still looking for a classic Friday the 13th logo shirt. <sighs> this one, though. <laughs> Let me tell you. Um... So now we're getting into the websites. This is where you go get your exclusive cool shirts to wear to your conventions. And a lot of them are pretty cool. Uh, especially if you go to the convention itself and buy the shirt there. They'll usually cut a little bit of money off of the site, or the shirt, rather than sell it on the site. They'll just sell it directly. So that's a good way to get your shirts. Um, and that's what I did when I went to the convention last year. This I got as part of the pre-order for my good guy doll, and they were like, oh, we're going to throw in a shirt, and I used to have this shirt, so I was like, sweet, I'm going to get this shirt back, because I love this shirt. What I didn't expect was to get this really dark, kind of faded, looked like somebody printed it on the shirt, like, the imaging, I don't know, it's just super low quality, like... Maybe they did that on purpose, but I don't know. This just this makes me not want to order a shirt from Horror Merch. I've seen other examples, and they look good, but uh, I don't know. Plus, I mean, their deal. Buy three shirts to get one free. You only got to spend $60, and we'll, we'll give you a little. Like, I mean, do a buy one, get one. Like, is that so hard to do? Like, come on. Um, but I don't know. I don't really recommend horror merch i mean there are some people that will defend them to the death that's your choice more power to you they're just not my cup of horror tea so sorry then you have i believe this is cavity colors uh very very good site uh, they have a lot of cool designs lots of uh exclusives this one i had to get it is puppet master the only downside with this is it is a small, but it was literally the only size they had, and I couldn't pass it up because I love Puppet Master, and that artwork is flipping amazing. Uh, I preferred to have, like, Tundler and Six Shooter on there, too, but it's just for the first movie. Um, now, I bought this back when it had first been announced. This is, a uh, Fright Rags. That's a very good site. Um... I believe the quality has faded a little over time, but I can't quite remember because I love this shirt so much. I wore it a ton, and that's my Child's Play 2 shirt featuring Chucky inside the uh, Good Guy doll factory. Um, it's really cool. He's got the knife hand. He's angry. One of my favorites. Um, I don't think this was a specific site. I could be wrong, but I saw this actually on... Uh, an episode of the Game Chasers on YouTube, uh, and I think it was Alpha Omega Sin was wearing it, and it's the Friday the 13th NES inspired You and Your Friends Are Dead Game Over shirt. I love the look of the retro Jason. Uh, it's really goofy. Um, is that dirty? Ew, it's got like a booger or something on it. Uh, make sure you wash your horror shirts, by the way, and turn them inside out. So the designs don't get ruined. Unless you really want that faded look. Um, this is one that I got from Spencer's, of all places. And I, the company that makes it is Creepy Company, or Creepy Co. This is probably one of my favorite things I've ever bought from Spencer's. Halloween Safety. 
And it's got not only Laurie Strode, it's got Tommy Doyle. Hoo-hoo. Um, <laughs> and Michael, J- Michael, My- Michael Gyres. Yes, Michael Gyres. I don't know. He's just creeping in the background, so pretty queer. Pretty, pretty queer. No, pretty cool. Sorry about that. Um, this is another shirt I bought from Spencer's. Or not Spencer's. Um, Spirit, when I was working there. Just your generic bone shirt. I think I was trying to go for like a Donnie Darko costume, but I never really did it. So, hey, I guess I just wanted a bone shirt. Uh, the next two, of course, were at uh, Spirit Halloween's, or maybe it was Halloween City. It's one of those party shops. I bought these after I stopped working at those places. Um, not Nothing against them. I mean, if you work for them, you get good deals. You can find cool stuff. Um, but this one, I obviously, I had to get. This is freaking, oh, so comfy, and it's awesome. Friday the 13th jersey. I think I paid 40 for it. Got the Voorhees 13. It's awesome. It's one of my favorite things to wear during the season. And then, of course, you have to get yourself a Fred Krueger sweater. Fred Krueger, not Freddy Krueger. Because a Freddy Krueger sweater usually has burn marks and destroyed tassels. This is a Fred Krueger, just the child monster. Uh, you want to put this underneath a, a blue zip up jacket with your brown fedora. You're like, oh, I didn't touch those kids, but you can't touch me. Oh, I'm just kidding. Um, so that's that's comfy. You can use it during the winter. You know, sip some hot cocoa, watch uh, open fire, reminisce about being burned alive by the parents of Springwood. I mean, anyways, um, <laughs> this one is from Fright Racks. I got this on sale. It was half off. Good deal. And this is probably my favorite shirt for Halloween, anyways. Uh, the Ringer. I love these types of shirts. They got like a half sleeve. They're very comfy. I would really love to find a Jason Voorhees style ringer. I would be on the lookout this year at Horror Hound. Um, so I have that one. And then I bought this one last year. I could not resist. The uh, Dare to Resist Drugs and Violence featuring the most violent killer. And he's got needles for fingers from Part 3 Dream Warriors. So... It's kind of a mixed message, but you gotta love it. And then lastly, uh, this is something that... Oh, what uh, company made this one? I think this was Fright Rags as well. Oh, I can't tell, because it's printed on a generic label. Canvas. Bella Canvas. Okay. And I cannot remember the booth I got it from, but... If you've searched enough for some of these sites where you can order the uh, shirts, then you should know already. Um... So yeah, just experiment out there. There's a lot of sites where they don't even charge that much. They'll charge like 10 bucks a shirt. And you can get like Maniac or Cannibal Cannibal Holocaust. I almost said Cannibal Corpse. And I think I said Holocops. Wow. Cannibal Holocaust. You can get like all these B-rate movies or Italian movies or Serbian film. Like crazy shit. And you can get it on a shirt. So... There are options. It's not just, you know, mainstream uh, or stuff that everyone would have. So keep your eyes out. Which brings me to my final two shirts. I saved the best for last. Now, this is an option I don't think a lot of people have considered. Um, But usually in the malls, there is uh, the artist that uh, airbrush shirts and stuff. So I thought to myself, I was like, hmm, what if I could get an airbrush shirt of something that no one would have? Um, so I have two shirts that I can almost guarantee have never been printed before. I believe I've worn one of them on camera. I don't think I've worn the other one. But let me just quit talking and show you. Um, the first one is Class Reunion Massacre. Now, if you remember the VHS collection video, I showed this off. It's one of the movies that used to really scare me as a kid, so I was like, this would be awesome to own. Um, and I let the guy take a picture of the VHS tape, and he did it perfectly, right down to the (laughs) the crappy eyeballs and the skull, but I I thought it was kind of cool. No more pencils, no more books, no more students. (gasps) Class reunion massacre. Nothing on the back, but 
I want to say that this was $50, maybe 60 but I gladly paid the man. I was like, I was like, this is beautiful. So, of course, once he did that one, I was more than happy to go back for a second time. This is the most expensive shirt I have ever and probably will ever pay for, but... The reason I did this was when I heard about the new Halloween, I was like, man, I gotta go to the uh, I gotta go to the premiere, looking awesome as I can, with probably the best Halloween shirt ever. I put the Japanese poster for Halloween on the shirt, and if you haven't seen that poster, look it up. It's hilarious, and that is the why the frick did they make Michael Myers look like Homer Simpson poster because his eyes are freaking crazy um and he got everything from the ridiculously long butcher's knife uh to the screaming girl and the kind of quality picture of the house and this I believe says Halloween right there he's got like a vein poking out of his head but his eyes are just like the best he's like Mmm, must stab Lori, ha ha! Um, that was terrible, I apologize. So that is probably the most expensive shirt I own, but that is, man, if I ever get that ruined, I will probably cry. Uh, <laughs> that's terrible. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, tell me below in the comments which shirt you liked best. Uh, do you have any shirts that you would like to see me get made? Uh, I have an idea for the next one. I'm actually wanting to get a Maniac shirt made. I know there's actually ones for sale that you can buy, but I'm like, how cool would it be to have an airbrushed Maniac shirt with the, I warned you not to go out tonight? That would be pretty sick. So I'm, I'm thinking about it. It's just uh, the place I go to is out of town, plus I'd have to have the extra money, and I'm currently saving up for the uh, horror convention. Who knows, maybe I'll see a Maniac shirt out there, and I'll just go, meh, and I'll buy it there. Um, but yeah, I'm always... I'm always kind of seeking out some more shirts. I sometimes have to retire other ones, and I don't get rid of them if I can help it. I kind of hold on to them just to have them on call. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you saw some cool stuff. Maybe I gave you some ideas to look up some shirts of your own online. Um, and hey, make a video response or send me a link with pictures. Show me your guys' shirts. I'd love to see them. Uh, what's your best shirt? What's your least favorite shirt? Uh, what's the best deal you've gotten? Uh, things like that. I'd love to discuss these things with you. Um, so thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.